what's up book nerds welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while and i know i said i was going to post more because it's summertime but i am working full-time in an internship so 40 hours a week and i'm taking nine credits this summer so unfortunately i really haven't had as much time to do as many book talks as i'd like to do but that's okay. Life happens. Today, I'm going to be talking about a book I love to read in the summer. It came out about two years ago, and most of my family and friends have not yet read it. And so if you are in that boat, I'd like to introduce Every Breath by Nicholas Sparks. I just saw Haley's comment you waved. I feel like when most people think Nicholas Sparks, they think about The Notebook, and most of them have only seen the movie. Although I do love The Notebook and most of the things Nicholas Sparks has written that have been turned into movies, this is my favorite book by him, and it is the perfect summer read. One of the reasons I love Nicholas Sparks so much is because he writes what he knows. He actually lives in North Carolina area, and that's where all of his books are set. And it's kind of funny because when I was younger, probably like middle school, when I first started reading him and watching all the movies, I was like, I need to move to North Carolina just in case like they were shooting a film there and needed an extra. And I would be like, yep, that's me. I'll volunteer. If you need me to kiss some cute boy, I'll also do that. Whatever. But I, I feel like the movies, they don't even film in North Carolina half the time, so I don't know what I was thinking. For this book talk, I'm just gonna kind of do a summary and kind of go through what the book does without giving any spoilers, so anyone who hasn't read this book and doesn't want spoilers can stay on. I probably will give a few at the end. I will give a full disclosure for everyone to hop off if they do not want to hear them. So the setting of this book is Sunset Beach which is just off the coast. It's like a little island of South Carolina, not North Carolina. So a little bit different here. And it's about an hour from Wilmington. There are two main characters, True, who is the male character, and Hope, who is the female. Of course, they're gonna get together. So True grew up in a wealthy family and actually left that to guide safaris in Africa. He has a son named Andrew and an ex-wife named Kim. And the story actually starts when he leaves Africa to go to America because his father, who he doesn't really have a good relationship with and who he hasn't spoken with for a long time, writes him and asks him to meet in America. So when True gets to America, he is brought to a beach house and his father just leaves a note and says, I'll be with you like we can meet in five days with no explanation so true just kind of has five days to kill at a beach house on the flip side hope grew up in north carolina and she also has a family beach house on the same beach she is neighbors to where true is staying so hope is at her beach house shocker during the same time true is because she is going to a friend's wedding and when she gets there she does have a boyfriend but their relationship is very rocky he's very like conceited kind of not mature doesn't really want to settle down and she's the opposite so she's like i just don't think this guy is the right one not the guy for me you know so hope and true's paths actually cross when hope is outside with her dog scotty and scotty runs away from her and true like finds him and brings him back to hope thanks to scotty hope and true start talking and they really hit it off and hope decides to invite true into her beach house for coffee coffee goes really well and then they go their separate ways and that night they both decide like they don't really want to cook and they both just end up at the same restaurant called Clancy's and at first it's kind of awkward but True does ask Hope to sit with him and of course she's a little hesitant but finally agrees and they have a great night. From the restaurant they walk home in the dark, yes the dark, setting the mood of course for fireworks and kisses and other things and once they get back to their beach houses at like 10 o'clock at night hope invites true over for a glass of wine so not coffee this time wine hmm 
interesting. And they end up sitting on her porch and just talking more about life and they're really connecting and then they go their separate ways again. So the next day, they kept like seeing each other outside, like get glances through windows and kept thinking about each other. And Hope left him a note that said she was going to Kindred Spirit and talked about going together. And Kindred Spirit is an actual real place. It is a mailbox on the beach and people can leave letters, kind of anything they write in there, and then others can read them. And it's kind of just like amazing, in my opinion, reading and writing, what's better? So after they visit Kindred Spirit together, they go back to the beach houses and Hope invites him over for dinner. And it may have been a late night, if you know what I mean. Five days are finally up and True meets with his father and learns a lot about their family history. And if you want to learn more about it, you're going to have to read the book because it's super interesting and like crazy. And the next day, Hope actually has to make a decision now if she wants to choose True or Josh. And both are kind of not 100% great choices, although she may love one completely and wholeheartedly. So what I just explained was just the first half of the story, and the whole second part of the story is Hope kind of making that decision of who she's going to choose to be with, and then from that choice, like, their life after. In the end, there is a heartbreaking plot twist, but honestly, who is surprised? It's Nicholas Sparks, you know? Like, what do you expect? There has to be heartbreak. Someone has to have a disease or die or get run over or, you know, like, something bad has to happen to someone, so you can expect that in this book. Nicholas Sparks did not come up with this story. He actually read about it in Kindred Spirits mailbox. Fans of Nicholas Sparks kept telling him to go to Kindred Spirit because it was so cool and Nicholas Sparks finally listened and visited and while he was there he was reading everything in the mailbox and he found this story that True, the real life True, had written about his love with hope and Nicholas Sparks was like floored, like loved it, so emotional. He just really resonated with it and was like this would make an amazing story like your story is worth being told and actually track down the real true like in real life they became friends and he finally got his permission to write this story and so here it is based on real life and here's the part in my book talk where if people do not want to get any spoilers feel free to drop off because I'm going to give a few spoilers. First of all, Hope does not choose True, even though she loves him and she's never felt like this before about anyone. Her dad actually has a disease and had one when she was making this big decision and she loves her dad and cares for her dad and wanted to be near her dad. And so he has this disease that causes your muscles to weaken over time until you can't even breathe. So hope choosing true would mean kind of abandoning her father which she did not want to do so that was kind of the pushing factor as well as hope wanted to have more children and true cannot have any more children so she really was picking josh for those two reasons and her life was kind of miserable like of course, in the end, Josh and her did not work out. They did have children and she loved being a mother, but he was a cheater and a liar and a terrible guy. So, cut him off. Her father did end up dying, but in the end, it was really good because True and Hope did find themselves back together at Kindred Spirit one random day when they were old and gray and... It's amazing until you find out that Hope has the same disease her father does and is also going to die soon. So, like seriously, Nicholas Sparks, you just drive me crazy. But it's very good and this is real life. So this 
all happened in real life as well. It's a quick read. It's very good. Great for summer. I mean, it's literally you're on a beach and it's a love story. So what more could you ask for? So that is all I have for you guys today. Like, comment, and subscribe. I would also love to hear what your favorite book by Nicholas Sparks is or what your favorite summer read is. It doesn't have to be by him. It can be anything. You have to go read this book or reread it or read something because we're book nerds and that's what we love to do. And I'm actually going to read the latest book by Nicholas Sparks, which is called The Return. Of course, there's love in it and um, probably some traumatic event that I'm going to be like screaming at paper for, but you know, books, they just make me emotional. Bye. Fires are open.